Lindsay with Zillow Group, here today with a little bit of a different conversation than you might be used to hearing from us. This is PA Pro Tips, where we're sharing tips from pros just like you. Joining me is Mackenzie Ross. She is a productivity coach with Keller Williams Group One in Reno, Nevada. Hey. Hello. How you doing? Good, how are you? Great. I want to ask you about that make or break moment when you get on the phone, having a conversation with somebody um, and converting that from a potential conversation into a lead. What are your most successful strategies when it comes to that moment? You know, first and foremost, is always a phone call. You have to make the phone call with somebody and let them know that there really is a person on the other side of that line. Uh, and the second one is, you know, we're in a new age of technology and really text messages are the way to go. With a 98% open rate, I want people to see my content and I want people to see me. So sometimes just sending a business card photo is really good. And sometimes just telling them who you are and say, hey, I'm here for your, let me help you. Uh, when you do actually make that first phone call and you do connect with them, once you get off the phone, make sure to write notes about what you talked about because we're humans and I can't remember what I ate for breakfast, let alone what I just talked to somebody on the phone about two weeks ago. I'm sure a lot of agents out there want to know when it comes to contacting potential clients, how much is too much? Is there a happy <laughs> medium in there? I Probably, but I go and go and go until somebody says stop or, you know, always the best conversation to have is, how often would you like me to talk to you? What was the best way to communicate with you? Is it email, is it text messages, is it a phone call? Is it, per, is it face to face? What is it that they want? Ask them, they'll tell you. So I'm sure you get a curveball every now and then. <laughs> Walk me through the trickiest question that you often get from a potential buyer on that first phone call. You know, I try to categorize their questions or their objections into two categories. I try to figure out if it's an objection and objections are usually something that requires just a little bit more information. And then sometimes it's somebody's opinion and those are not curable or things that I like have no control over, I can't fix. Um, one of the things I think we all get as real estate agents is what are your fees? Or how do I get to the first house? I just wanna see the first house. And you just kinda of have to roll with it and figure out a way to get in front of them and explain what you do as an agent and that you really do as a buyer work for free. When it comes to information, you were talking about how texting is kind of yeah. king for you these days. <laughs> yep. So. Now on the Premier Agent app, you can actually send and receive texts not only through your computer, yes. but also on your phone. It's seamless. It's integrated. How much has that functionality oh. been able to help you when it comes to reaching out to clients? Big time. Uh, you know, with being on the go all the time, traveling and being out of the office, I can't be attached to my computer all the time. And having that option to bring it on my on my tablet or on my uh, laptop or even my phone and being able to text somebody and carry all that information everywhere I go, it's amazing. Mackenzie, thank you so much for sharing all of your tips with me and with the rest of our PA community at home. Of course. Uh, and if you want to share your own tips when it comes to lead conversion and some of the things that have worked for you, you can share those on social media with the hashtag PA Pro Tips. Thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of PA Pro Tips, and we'll see you next time.